Hello everyone, my name is Steven from Hop Hog Computer Works, and today I'm going to show you how to record your PC gameplay via HDMI on the HD PVR2. So right now I have my PC game running on my computer and it's playing on my monitor, but I want to get the HD PVR2 mixed into this so that I can record. So how do I do that? I'm going to make the connections for you and show you how to set this up. Okay, so our first step is to connect the 6 volt power supply to our HD PVR. We already have it connected to the wall. I'm just going to lead the other end into our HD PVR, like so. Our next step will be to take the USB cable, lead it into the HD PVR, and then connect it to our PC like this. And there we go. Now we'll install Hoppog Capture. This means that we'll need to go to our support site and download the latest version of Hoppog Capture from our website. Once you've downloaded and started the installation, we're going to go ahead and click Gaming, PC, and Wii U when this window pops up. Once you've done that, you'll be asked to reboot your PC. So as we wait for our PC to reboot, we're going to go ahead and power cycle the HD PVR2. This is done by taking the power supply cable out of the HD PVR2. We wait a few seconds and then plug the cable back in. Once you've power cycled the HD PVR2, go into Hophog Capture and set the input settings for audio and video to HDMI. Okay, so now that we've set our input settings in Hophog Capture to HDMI, we're going to go ahead and connect our HDMI cable leading from our PC into our display into our HD PVR2 instead. So we're going to disconnect the HDMI cable from our monitor, and our screen will go blank and then we take our HDMI cable and lead it into the HDMI in port on the HD PVR2 like this. Then we take our other HDMI cable which is supplied with our HD PVR2 and connect one end into the HDMI out port like that and lead the other end back into our display. Now video should resume on our display, and in Hophog Capture we should start to see our desktop. Just like that. Now we'll manage our PC's audio settings. To do this, we'll right-click the speaker icon in the lower right-hand corner of our toolbar on our desktop, and then select Playback Devices from the menu that appears. Once you've selected this, you'll see that we have something set as our default, You'll want to set the HD PVR2 as your default device, and then click OK. If you'd like to record your laptop gameplay using the HD PVR2, you can do so by taking the USB cable leading from the HD PVR2 and connecting it into an available USB port on your laptop. Once you've connected your USB cable to your laptop, you'll be able to open up Hophog Capture. But when you do, you'll notice that there's a blank preview screen. This is because we haven't connected our HDMI input yet. To connect your laptop via HDMI, simply take an HDMI cable and lead one end into the HDMI in port on the HD PVR2. Then, take the other end of that HDMI cable and lead it into the HDMI output of your laptop. Once you've connected your HDMI cables, you'll see that the Hophog Capture Preview screen will have a reoccurring desktop. This indicates that you're receiving video in the HD PVR2 and everything is working properly. When you're ready to start recording, Mute and then minimize Hophog Capture. Then start your game up in full screen mode. Use the record button on top of the HD PVR2 to start and stop your recording. The reason we normally minimize Hophog Capture is because there's always a 2.5 second delay between your actual gameplay and what's depicted in the Hophog Capture preview window. 
So this will conclude our video on how to set up your HD PVR2 to record your PC gameplay via HDMI. Thank you for watching. If you need any help with this setup, please check out the description box below. Also, feel free to visit us on Facebook, Twitter, or you can give us a call. If you're not using a TV monitor to watch your gameplay, or if your TV monitor does not have speakers, you will need to split the audio coming from your PC game system. Instructions can be found on our support page.